Hello blog readers. Today we are again lucky enough to have the insights of our esteemed class action litigator Jerry Matman, partner at Seifarth Shaw. Many of you will remember our October vlog recapping the EEOC's 2017 fiscal year. Today Jerry is here to update our readers on a busy couple of weeks for the EEOC. Jerry, first of all, what recent news has come out of the EEOC? Well, the EEOC has been very busy of late. It rolled out in the last two weeks a new online portal or filing system, which brings the EEOC into the new digital age and allows claimants to post and file charges and documents with the EEOC through the internet. The EEOC also constructed a new resource on its website for small businesses, a new small business resource page. And then the EEOC most recently appointed two individuals to high policy making positions. Uh, Carol Misikoff, who is the new associate legal counsel, and Sam Hafner, who fills the position of chief data officer at the EEOC. The EEOC is publishing their 2017 Performance and Accountability Report on November 15th. Do we have any indications of what it may include? Well, each year I read it with interest and it serves somewhat like a scorecard of the EEOC's litigation informants program and I think one of the themes will be the EEOC was busier and did more with its resources over the past 12 months than it did before. It filed 184 merits lawsuits compared to about 80, 85 the year before, which to some is counterintuitive given that the Trump White House, uh, most would say that is more pro-business than the Obama White House, which the EEOC tended to bring very uh, uh, cutting edge test cases on behalf of claimants. Um, the other uh, report uh, that I think will receive a lot of play will be the reduction in the EEOC's backlog. For a number of years, charges, uh, the backlog was around 80 to 95,000 charges. That has been reduced significantly, meaning there's, there are less EEOC charges in the pipeline. Probably will denote a somewhat of a reduction in employment discrimination lawsuits that are filed. The EEOC is also apt to tout its record of accomplishment on the settlement front and announced that it uh, secured about $484 million worth of settlements in lawsuits, conciliations, and mediation, which is up significantly from about $347 million the year before. The most important aspect, however, I think of that particular report will be any indication or reading of the tea leaves, so to speak, regarding where the EEOC is going next and where it's going to focus its attention and the types of things that employers do that would put them on the radar screen uh, of the EEOC. Great. And lastly, what are your thoughts on the EEOC going forward? Well, it's been a most interesting year and I think that many employers are scratching their head. How in the world did the EEOC file more lawsuits and recover more money with Donald Trump in the White House as compared to his predecessor, uh, Barack Obama. I think that one of the key issues upcoming in the next few months will be the two Trump nominees taking their place on the commission, the chairman, uh, Janet Dillon, and the uh, commissioner, uh, Daniel uh, Gotti, uh, who will then fill out the array of five commissioners and give the Republicans a majority. And I think one of the first things that will occur is the appointment of a new EEOC general counsel, more likely than not to be a Republican. And then I think you're going to see then a new policy or a new way forward with respect to decision making, at least in the headquarters office of the commission, about uh, how it wants to spend the taxpayer's dollar. What sorts of lawsuits will it be bringing and will those lawsuits receive approval at a national level as opposed to uh, forfeiting or ceding control over those litigation decisions to EEOC district offices in the field. So put on your seatbelt, I think it's going to be a very interesting next 12 months for the EEOC. Thank you, Jerry. If you're interested in complete analysis of the EEOC's activity and implications for this fiscal year, 
make sure to stay tuned for the publication of Seifarth Shaw's annual EEOC initiated litigation report for fiscal year 2017 coming out at the end of December.